We are, we're recording. Yes, we are. All right, welcome to Calfire Crackpots 4.5, the great global warming swindle uh, review. So this was actually an offhand comment I made in the last one, where I, I just saw this documentary cover for the great global warming swindle, and I knew we had to do something on it. Yeah, but when first, you mentioned that, I had to write down the name because it sounded too hilarious it sounds to almost serious. too good to be true I, I never watched this i i never heard of it either but we will find out um because but first we need to find out the fact that your your poster came yes it did it, it did um this is the from episode three tar sands suck um you ordered a picture of the watersheds of the great lakes from none other than the fred a and barbara m Earp family foundation how would you rate the quality of the poster? It's a surprising with your quality. If you look close at my wall where I have it hung up, you can make out individual river names. Is it and like vinyl or a uh, like thick paper? It was. I would describe it as like poster paper. Okay. It was. It was a tube poster, so it's kind of that quality paper. Mm -hmm. Still, it was free though. Yeah, for a free poster. I mean, that's great. It's cool as hell. But because the people who made this documentary might be the people to get butthurt about it, I copy and pasted this from a uh, Mudahar video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so read this if you want, but it's basically just don't sue or give me a DMCA takedown, even though our videos are Creative, com creative Commons. Um... We're literally not making money off this. There's no way for us to possibly make money off of this. One, enough people haven't even watched the darn things for us to get affiliate, even if we wanted it. Yeah, isn't it something like 3,000 watch hours or something crazy like that for YouTube? I don't know. Usually, the favorite, my favorite thing that happens is, like, you, you can't do it retroactively. So, like, someone is, like, plotting away, and then one of their videos, like, explodes. And then they can't claim anything for that. Oof. That sucks. So, this is the Great Global Warming Swindle. Um, IMDB's um, synopsis is, Everything you've ever been told about global warming is probably untrue. This probably. blows the whistle on the biggest swindle in modern history. We are told that, quotes, man-made global warming is the biggest ever threat to mankind. There is no room for scientific doubt. Well, watch this film and make up your own mind, or do your research, as the Karens say. I don't know how. Find your time on Google and make your own opinion that trumps that of a PhD researcher. I don't know how relevant it is, but it has a six point seven out of ten on the IMDb ratings. But I think, hmm, is it certifiably fresh on Rotten Tomatoes? I don't. I think that's only for movies. This is a documentary. Ah, that's, so let's, that's a shame. let's let's talk about the cast. So, this is the crew, the, the 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 idiots who made this thing. Now, first off, Tim Ball like looks like George Costanza. <laughs> like I I I don't know how else to point that out. Fred Singer like a knockoff President Snow from the Hunger Games. Patrick Michaels looks like a fatter Tim Cook. And then. Have you heard of any of these names before? I have not. Patrick Michaels looked familiar from something else, but I immediately thought Tim Cook when I looked at his face. I almost feel like I've heard the name Tim Ball somewhere. <laughs> Anyone with the last name Ball cannot be taken seriously. <laughs> it looks like his only credits are for various global warming documentaries why does he why did, why is his background the school like the middle school yearbook photo yeah right like i swear i could shop a picture of like third grade me into that <laughs> big sip but let's get into the news here so i kind of did a little bit of rhyming here the overview the crew the poo so this is um, the Great Global Warming Swindle in its entirety. We will be playing um, Mystery Science Theater to this, and... Hi, it's me in a post-production. 
just wanted to say that when we recorded us kind of mocking the documentary itself, we not only skipped around, but when I'm watching it now, the audio of the documentary is so quiet you can't hear it. So it's kind of just our comments you can hear. Um, feel free to watch the documentary if you want. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the bits that the documentary was going and show our before and after takes. Feel free to watch the whole thing by yourself. It's kind of entertaining, but yeah, that's about it. Enjoy our after takes. Okay, wow. That was like not the, that was like not the like slam dunk ending I was hoping it was going to be. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's a reason why I called this slide the poo. So, now, now let's get to our review. I think they were building up to stuff, but that stuff ended up being, for the most part, non-conclusive. It's, it's, it's a disappointing kind of, like, justification for people with, like, awful, awful selection bias. To act they were denying and disproving widely accepted conclusions without bringing a different conclusion as to why very strong correlations exist. And th th even so, they didn't really have a good justification for saying why. It was just kind of, there's money in, like, uh, stopping carbon emissions. Um, I think, honestly, giving any more airtime to us getting mad about this is just going to result in more angry people. But I thought we should take a gander at their comments section. So sure. this, this is completely, I, I, I put, like, a, a smattering of comments these are like the first seven or so that popped up. Like I, these, these I didn't even cherry pick these. So you can tell they're boomers because they have their full names. How dare you? Dot 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 dot. Greta, comma, no space. After watching this, love that YouTube and all its wisdom and objectivity automatically forces us to see a link to Wikipedia stating that global warming is a settled science, since Wikipedia is now the authority of all truth instead of letting viewers think for themselves. Hashtag liberal logic. He's just getting ratioed, though. <laughs> that is a good ratio. We now have to make documentaries to prove what would be common sense. As a geographer, I agree with these guys totally. Wouldn't a climatologist make more sense if you were going to make up your own... Uh... Yeah, you study the ground, Chief. You don't... <laughs> That's like me saying, as a baker, I agree with these guys. Yeah, as a, as a baker, I agree that cooking meat this way isn't good. The sun is responsible for global warming. Wow, now that is shocking. My favorite comment is, I see the House of Parliament underwater, so global warming isn't all bad news then. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a good ratio, too. But So now the actual next episode is going to be on the California wet season, resilient resistant pineapple. We're going to get back to actual science and fun politics, but I, I honestly, that was a little bit anticlimactic. I was hoping for it to be at least more entertaining, but, like, it was kind of just, like, I, I couldn't tell, like, how much they cared about their own message. Yeah, it's, I don't even know what happened just now. Watch this be our most viewed video. Yeah. Like, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Do you have anything else you want to say? Um, this was a mistake. It was a mistake. We were too far into it. I thought it was at, it was at the very least kind of entertaining. You know what? It's it's great that we finally took a look at it because uh, at least I had someone to like rip on it with. This would have been so brain damaging if I went into it alone. If I went into it alone and it was like 3 a.m. and I would have been like, yeah, they speak in facts, and I would wake up and be like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> like, this is I, like, I, add this to the list of like Good Burger and Harold and Kumar go to White Castle and Hot Tub Time Machine for like stoner movies. I could see like, I could see anything at 3 a.m. and think it was like true. Like, those weirdo Hitler is alive, doc Nat Geo, doc sorry, history. Oh my god, yeah. And, like, I watched them at 3 a.m. It's kind of like, mm, 
Yeah. That one from the History Channel where they mixed up a photo of Hitler with Mo Howard. From <laughs> Dude, that was so crazy. It was like... Yeah, so an episode of, like, a Hitler is, um, like, back episode. No, it was like Hitler was still alive. And they found this, like, picture that was their smoking yeah. gun evidence. Yeah, that was like... It, like, it matched up with, like, the facial patterns and everything. And it turned out to be Mo from the Three Stooges. So this is gonna spawn a, do- a sister documentary, which is "Is Mo Hitler?" That's because the next cope. The facial records were kind of similar. They were surprisingly similar. Like they lined them on top of each other, and I was like, "Oh shoot, that's Mo Howard." <laughs> like Mo. Howard. All right, I think we gotta end it on that note because that's probably the best it's gonna get. Yeah. Stop in the share. I'm also going to stop the recording.